Good morning, gin lovers! If I could paraphrase Robin Williams, welcome back to No Nonsense Gin Reviews with me, Bobby Freeman. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I am rather excited, as you can probably tell, because we're going to be reviewing, reviewing this lovely, delectable looking little chap, which is Pinkster Gin. Now, I'm, as I say, I'm very excited about this one because, not least, because I've seen this one out and about in the clubs, and it look, just looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? And I love the look of this little bottle. I mean, it, it, it is, in fact, you can't see it's very pink, but if you look in front of the paper there, it is indeed pink, as the name suggests. But I just love how it's got this cool sort of insert, like so, where you see the gin there, and you've got this little glass on the outside. It makes it sort of look like one of those sort of designer perfumes or something. So hopefully, it doesn't taste like one of those. So let's get stuck in, shall we? Now, unfortunately, it's just from England, so I won't be able to do any accent today. It'll just be the same as my British accent. So, so apologies to any of you who particularly like that bit. I doubt there's many, but uh, it's not going to be today, I'm afraid. So this is what they say about it on their website, okay. Back in 2013, the industry thought that we were bonkers to contemplate making a gin with fresh fruit. It's a fiddly business and not worth a hassle, they said. Well, thank the heavens we persevered. Partly out of naivety, but largely because we weren't prepared to compromise on quality. I like the sound of these people already. Fast forward five years and pink gins are all the rage. However, as the veritable pink pioneer, we're busy encouraging gin lovers to focus on the flavour rather than just the colour. Our delicate flavour comes from the fact that we use raspberries. Real ones. The ones that grow on bushes. The coarse spirit is distilled to our own recipe before we macerate an additional three botanicals, including the raspberries. Best of all, we recycle... Now get that, this is my favourite bit here, listen to this. Best of all, we recycle them, albeit slightly intoxicated as boozy berries, gin jam and pinkster royale. So jam, you'll know if the UK, if you're in the UK, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you're in the US, what we call jam, you guys call jelly, okay? Stuff you spread on your toast. So they basically make a sort of an alcoholic jam. I mean... Do you know what? This this could be a first on No Nonsense Gin Reviews. I might have to do a No Nonsense Jam Reviews or a Jelly Reviews if you're in the UK. I like the sound of that. Watch this space, my friends. We only produce Pinkster during the summer cropping season. I guess that's because when the raspberries are growing. Uh, that's why we reckon we are the natural choice. Real raspberries. It certainly is a Pinkster thing. Well, I bloody well like the sound of that, my friends. There's only one thing to do, and that's to get the lid off. So let's crack on, shall we? So do the sniff taste, obviously, as we always do first. Whoa, hey, ho, ho, I'm getting a bit adventurous with the pouring there. Right. I don't think I missed some spell. I'll abandon that sentence because... Oh! <laughs> God, he made me cough. As you can tell, I'm a little bit lost for words there because... Oh! Oh! God! Good jeez! Oh no, I've whacked the microphone. Sorry, that must have been really loud. My friends! My friends! Subscribers! I'll be like Shakespeare. Friends! Subscribers and countrymen! Lend me your noses, for I wish you to sniff this gin. It... Oh, it's just like... It's... Oh, it's like a treat. It's like a lovely, sweet raspberry treat for the nostrils it's just like it's kind of like a dessert but a lovely sort of alcohol fuel dessert if you can imagine such a thing it's, it's exactly what you think it's basically essentially it boils down to is gin that tastes really strongly and potently of raspberries so let's not mess around let us not fanny about anymore to coin a british phrase I'm almost drooling at the thought of it, <laughs> but let's get some tonic in the glass and try the fella, shall we? So, here we go. I'm, I'm actually going to try, I think I'm going to try this one neat as well, because it just smells so, so good. Let's get them in there. That might, I think I might have overdone that a little bit more. I want to have this stronger, so whack a bit more in. So, here we go. Pinkster Raspberry Gin. Cheers. Wow! Do you know what? It's not as... I thought it was basically just going to be a fun, uh, sort of enjoyable raspberry tasting gin. Like your bog standard, you know what you're going to get. But it's actually... It, it's, you get a lot more depth than that, you know? You get kind of... You get, obviously, you're getting those raspberries in there, but there's something else which sort of tunnels down as well as kind of a... A sort of an, a kind of an earthiness, but almost kind of a freshness as well. It, it, it puts me in mind slightly of a hedgerow, but th that may not. Uh, I understand that initially that may not sound pleasant because I, <laughs> and to be honest, I'll be absolutely honest with you, I've never gnawed on a hedgerow in my life. But it, I'm just talking about that kind of 
fresh, summery sort of taste that you would imagine a hedgerow to taste like. I'm, I'm really sort of digging myself into a very strange hole here, but just try it. I think, I think I'm going all high pitch as well. I think you will agree with me. Let me have another blast. Mm. Yeah, it's got a lot of the sort of what you'd expect all those sort of uh, interesting complex gin flavours in there as well as the raspberry. I thought it was going to be all encompassing, like the old, I haven't got it here, I've drunk it all, I think. Like the Beef Eater Pink. That one was, of course, a uh, uh, strawberry flavour, but extremely, extremely uh, a harsh strawberry flavour, but also a very strongly concentrated strawberry flavour. So, um, of course, this one, by the way, it, it is just literally teetering on the edge of falling into a gin, uh, the class known as a gin liqueur, because as you will know, if you watched my uh, gin liqueur video and my fruity gin video, anything below 37% ABV cannot be called a gin anymore. It has to be a gin liqueur. So this is nestling very nicely on the surface at 37% ABV. So let's give this little fellow a go neat, shall we? As, and as you know, I'm a bit of an animal, so I do drink when I have it neat. Very often, I have it out of the bottle, but it's only a little one. I don't think it'll mind. My mum will go mad, but it doesn't matter. Uh, she's, she's not the boss of me. Not anymore. Uh, so here we go. Neat pink stout. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Do you know what? It's not actually that much difference. <laughs> Again, being that slightly lower ABV, very easy to drink neat. There's not a great deal of difference, you guys. I do like it with tonic. Or, or, uh, yeah, I always say, I know a lot of people saying I should have it neat, but I do enjoy it with the tonic. I think even if you just have a little splash of it in there, it just does release those flavors. It's just, just what a pleasant surprise this is really, because as I say, I expect it to be just a whole lot of raspberry, but it's not, it's not. If you see this and you, and you perhaps you fall into the same trap as me, you're thinking it's just gonna be one of these novelty raspberry set flavored gyms. Give it a go, my friends. Give it a go because there is a lot more depth to it and a lot more than you think. So I say to you, Pinkster people, keep up the good work, my friends. Mm. And I have to mention, of course, the wonderful, beautiful, very handsome men at the gin box shop supplied this little fellow to me today. There again is their beautiful and delectable uh, logo in the corner. So if you want to get some Pinkster, you will find it at the gin box shop. At a fairly reasonable, I say fairly reasonable, it's the top end of what I say to to, uh, to spend at gin. It's a hovering around the £30 mark, which is about the $39 or about €36. Euros. Um, but again, as I've said before, sometimes it is good to stretch over that budget. You don't have to. You can buy perfectly good gins for less than that. But sometimes you find something a little bit special. And I believe we have found something truly special today. It was an absolutely lovely surprise today. I was kind of looking at it thinking, you know, I... This is going to do what it says in the tin, but it truly doesn't. It was absolutely excellent. I really, really, whoa, and then he spilt some then. He sort of ruined my dirty pot, my lovely clean pour from earlier on. But no, it was not what I expected. And I, I, that's what I love about doing this channel. You can, you never, never know what you're going to get next. And that was a pure, unexpected and lovely surprise. So get yourself down to the gym box shop to get some of this. Uh, I'll put a link in the section below and uh, enjoy it as I have, my friends. Right, my friends, what a video that was today. I feel like I got a little bit overexcitable. It's probably a combination of I've been doing videos since like seven o'clock this morning. It's now uh, quarter past seven. And uh, and the fact that I've been drinking gin in every one of them. So I'm probably a little bit, if you know what I mean. But never mind, that is me done for the day now. If you've enjoyed this video, as I've enjoyed making it, please, as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button on the video. And of course, the little bell icon so you get reminded when all my videos come out. And of course, please check out my new Patreon page uh, where you can get all sorts of exclusive content and sort of things about me rambling and making all sorts of strange videos that are not available in the public uh, arena, such as YouTube and around here. And, and I promise I don't ramble uh, in the way that I am doing now. But anyway, I shall see you all next time on this channel that I call No Nonsense Gin Reviews, where I call myself Bobby Freeman. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. God, that was a weird one. <laughs>